Hello and welcome to IT Security Labs. And today we are doing day 23 of 25 of the advent of the Cyber Challenge. And we are working on PowerShell. He says, one of the administrators with access to ELF DOM defense system realized that his password file was missing on his desktop. So there was a phishing attempt and something happened on his desktop. Someone stole the password file. So today we're going to inspect event logs to determine what occurred and see if we can retrieve password from a deleted text file. So the learning objectives are, we should be able to analyze Windows event logs to understand actions that were performed, recover key artifacts in an unencrypted web communication, then utilize PowerShell scripting to recover a deleted item here. So first, we launch our machine. We need to make sure that we look at this time range here and these two events. 41, 4103 and 4104. So let's do that right now. So going to our deployed machine right here at the bottom, we can launch this little tool, then go here in the advanced search. We want it to be 4103 and 4104. Then they select only from specified time. Let's see. Local time 11, 10, 21, 21. Then the time needs to be the same as here, 1.52 p.m. This needs to be 1, 2, 5, 2, 2, 11, 10, 11, 12, 21, 21. And what is the last time? 1.52. So we have the same exact time. And the provider that we are looking for is going to be PowerShell. So star... Then we'll also look for HTTP in the same area. Show only events with specific specified event description. So we will go here and it's HTTP. So star HTTP star. And we say, okay. Now we are left with a nice to read list here. So we only have a few. Looking at this, here it says, what command was executed as Elf McNeely to add new user to the machine? Let's see what happens here. So right away, in the very first one, we did a wget to a git repository. So we need to check out what's up with this. What is this? All right, so here's a PowerShell script that they got from the internet, which is interesting. Let's go to the Git repository, like the real Git repository where this PowerShell was found. Let's just go and find it. What is this all about? Okay, so it's a print nightmare uh, PowerShell exploit, which is interesting. It's a proof of concept and Right away, add a new user to local administrator straight up by default. So if they downloaded this, what this means is they did an add user. It's invoke nightmare. That's the actual command. So it's invoke nightmare, not add user. What do you use? Execute a partial file to send a password text to the administrator's desktop, from the administrator's desktop to the remote server. So going back here, what was the user? Let's look through some of these. wget sysinternal files. Okay, this is sysinternals. Oh, here, it's deleting. Oh, the user is this one here. Admin, like that. That's the user, based on what we saw there. Okay. What was the IP address of the remote server? What was the port used to, for the remote connection? So we need to find out IP address of the remote server was this one, and the port is right here. Put a comma and submit. What was the encryption key used to encrypt the contents of the file sent to the remote server? Encryption key. Okay, let's look at one before that. So here is the key here. Looking here. Yeah right here. So you're looking at get content, then the key is specified here, then we do the encryption using the uh, commands here. 
So that was the key. What application was used to delete the password file? So looking at this here, this is where they downloaded the delete.zip. After it was downloaded, they actually end up with sdelete.exe. And in this line here, this is where they are download, um, deleting that password file using sdelete.exe. All right. What is the date and timestamp of the log? logs show that that password to your text was deleted? This right here. And I thought it's this right here. But it doesn't seem to work. If I submit that, it says it's incorrect. So I'm going to look for the hint here. Update the advanced options to search for the deleted file. Really? Okay. So let's go to the deleted files called password.txt so we can just come here and put the word password password.txt let's see if we see a different date this time all right so we got three this is the one that we saw last time when the command was ran i guess there's a delay and this one is just the one for the send it Okay, so we have another entry here as well when it was actually executed again. So let's just copy the actual date, which is this one. So this is the second one. It's not the first one. All right, so last one. What were the contents of the deleted password.txt file? So we need to recover the password.txt file since it was deleted. And we can do that here. Here, first let's check the. Let's do the obvious thing. Go to the recycling bin. It's not in there. We see that we have the decryptor. It's on the desktop. So I'll right-click on that. Uh, instead of running with PowerShell, I like to see it in PowerShell ISI. So we'll go there. Echo encrypted convert string key. Okay, enter key here. So it means a key that we found earlier. So let's go and get that in encryption key. So here's a script that will decrypt. So what I'll do is I'll just enter, paste the key there. Let's go back to our logs and see when that encrypted file was exfiltrated. Then we can get that, then recover the original file from there. Okay, so we need to remove our filter here. Put it back to HTTP. Say okay. Now we are looking for that encrypted file. Okay, this is the body. This is when it was sent. So we need this whole thing here. So this file was sent out while it was encrypted. We found the key and we have a decryptor here. So all we need to do is put the contents of the encrypted file in here and decrypt it. All right, so let's see if this one will run. Okay. Yes, so the password.txt, the contents of that file says mission control, let us know, let us know, let us know. All we need for the last question. So the goal here was we can recover files. If they were exfiltrated and deleted, we can recover them from PowerShell logs, which is kind of neat. And we just completed day 23. So this is really fun. If you enjoy this, please remember to like and subscribe. Otherwise, I will see you next time.